Hey guys, so turns out I had some time and I managed to design the base and 3D print it. It's not a final thing, it's more like a prototype because I have some issues with it. One of them is the size. It's not um, it's not a snug fit, which I don't like. I have to I have to um, resize it. And the second one is well airflow, which I need because the LED um, heats up a lot. And also space. I don't have much space in here and this is life, so I have to be careful. But as you can see, it's all crammed in there, which I don't like at all. And you know what, I might replace the power supply with a standard power brick because even in standby only with the ESP running, which is getting power from the same power supply, it just gets, I wouldn't say hot, but it gets quite warm. I can feel it and it's quite warm. But yeah, this is only to show um, that it's working. And the way I did it is I took the IR, IR remote library for the SP8266 and I scanned um, the remote controller that came with the, with the LED. And now I'm using an infrared LED to control the light. So... The code is still quite rough. I still have to make some changes, but it's working. I have here my alarm clock. I'm using, um, what is it called? Uh, hold on. Alarm clock extreme. So this alarm clock application allows us to launch an app launch an another application which is wh what I'm doing I'm launching the browser the the browser that came with Android the standard browser and I set the home page as a command to turn on the LED so essentially when the alarm um, goes off it um, it makes a get request to the ESP and turns on the LED so let's try this. Of course it didn't work because I had it. I didn't close it before. There we go. So I just set the the get request as a home page. I don't know if I explain it. And yeah, that's basically it. So I can set the uh, LED to turn on like uh, 30 minutes earlier than I wake up. And yeah. I also made the code, so well, let me turn this off. So basically, this F7C03F, hold on. There. This is the actual IR code that um, uh, turns the LED on. It's the same as this button. And the funny thing is I can actually control my television with this. Um, I just need to put my code in there, which is interesting. And yeah. So, uh, now I have to, I, I will uh, design a HTML page with all the buttons so I can control it better or I will maybe do something like this. For example, I want to turn on blue, I just type blue 
um, which is probably easier than remembering all the codes. But I will still leave the function so that it can, uh, so I can type the, um, the actual code because I like to, to be able to um, turn on my television from my computer, which is fun because the, the ESP is connected to the, to the, to my network, of course. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. What I'm going to do when I design the, the actual base, which this looks ugly. This was just, uh, it just took like five minutes to design or something like that. And I will put some vent, vents, vents to get better airflow. And I will probably use this kind of um, pad that is used to dissipate the heat. Thermal, it's the thermal conductive pad. And I will stick it some pieces all over here. So the bottle acts like a like a heat sink. And I will of course replace the actual vodka with water. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you think about this and I will have links in the description. I don't know if I will publish the code yet because I don't I'm not quite happy with it. I it needs to get some changes. I need to do some changes. But yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> Have fun.